Hi guys. This is take three. <laughs> Third attempt, because I didn't like the second one, so I'm just starting again. Anyway, as you can see, first off, I've got another bike front. Got it. It's a giant rock in silver. Suspension works fine. No handlebars, but that's not a problem. Needs all cables, that's not a problem. Got a tap, it's very vocal, that's a problem. <laughs> I kid, he's not a problem. Um, bottom bracket needs to be replaced. Need wheels to put in there, that's not a problem, because I've got wheels coming out of my behind. <laughs> um, and I was going to keep this one, but... I was going to keep this one with an intended purpose, but... Um, I sort of figured out it's an aluminium frame and it's not going to be ideal. Uh, the only reason I figured out it's an aluminium frame is one, because of the weld. Two, we've got rust here on the nuts, but the frame itself hasn't rusted. There's um, things in the frame that hadn't rusted. Oh, actually, it may have. It may be a steel frame. Oh, actually, I may be wrong. You know what? There's actually a slit cut in the frame somewhere. I'll show you in a minute. I don't know how it got there, because it's on the inside, but someone's managed to do it anyway. But um, it hasn't rusted, which is why I thought that was an aluminium frame. It's in there. See it? No, it's aluminium. Magnet aren't sticking it is aluminium. Which means... That bit there, towing the heavy trailers me and my friend tow, is likely to get bent so and snap off as it's aluminium. Um, so um, <laughs> I'm going to have to stick to the GT because uh, the GT is a steel frame. So I don't know if I'll do this up and keep for myself, just have a little um, run around. Or I might sell it. I haven't decided yet. Um, tomorrow I'm going to do the um, Apollo. I've bought the wheels back from Mum's because that's where I've been today. Uh, pardon me. Uh, so I can do that tomorrow and get a photograph of that and stick that up in Gumtree. Uh, oh, pardon me. Ah. Uh, so that will give me room to get the Silver Fox, as well as a bit of cash, to get the Silver Fox with. Uh, what else? Didn't do a lot at Mum, so I can't really talk about that, because there's nothing to talk about. Not unless you find uh, Harpy interesting, if you watch TV. I don't watch TV, so that's not the sort of thing I'd watch here. Um, I've got a wheel behind me to post Monday. Well, it should be collected Monday by my Hermes. Um, emphasis on should, because they're two days late with the um, parcel this week, so... Yeah. <laughs> um... That's the um, Halo Combat there. Someone's bought that. Um, I've got another wheel I was contemplating putting on eBay, but I'm not too sure. I'm pretty certain this one's true. But there's some... A um, little bit of damage on the rim there. It's a little bit rough. But, uh, I was toying with the idea of, uh, trying this one at a 99p star. I will double check and make sure it is true. But someone might buy it at 99p. I could clean the hub up, actually, before it goes. I think it's, a. Uh, I don't even know what the brand is. Oh, hang on. Double wall, double strength. So it's a double wall rim. Yeah. It's also sort of a, an aerodynamic-y sort of rim, because that edge isn't flat. Oh. 
No, I'll scrap this because uh, this has got at least. least. Yeah, it's got two spokes missing. That's a shame. I don't think I've got a wheel I can pinch them out of either. Oh well. I suppose I could um, take the hub out of there and the rest of the spokes. As spares, because they're stained as steel in that thing. Actually, no, some of them are. Because I know I've replaced a few. Yeah, I might do that. And stick the hub alone on there, give the hub a good old clean up and make it black. That's something I could do tomorrow then. I don't have a few bits to put on eBay tomorrow anyway. Uh got Mum's printer working today. Well I didn't, my stepdad did. And uh he's not very computer savvy and he managed to get it to work. I tried uninstalling it and reinstalling it, which usually works, and it didn't. It was still throwing up the print mirror. But it turned out all it was was um, a setting was wrong on what he was trying to print. Um, he had to set it to landscape, so it actually fitted to the um, A4 paper he was printing on. He did that and has been printing fine ever since, so there we go. Problem solved. I've got that in the mail this morning, another blue base plate. I just need, at the very least, another three, but I'd like four. Because them two in the middle there, with all the black um, rubber seals on, is actually two separate, smaller boards. So I would like um, to change that, but I'll do that last. I'll just concentrate on getting the ones around it done first. Um... Lego truck set came in the mail as well. Uh, a six pound buy on eBay, which is cheap. Did come with the box, but I don't want the box, so I left. I put it in the bin. So I took it over to Mum's to uh, assemble while I was there for something to do. Um, but I only bought it because I wanted this. Ever since that was released new about two years ago, I've wanted it just for the truck. So I'm going to make a version in probably black, if I can, or perhaps black and white, for my own little um, Sigfig, which is sleeping in his apartment. Some of us AFOLs do make stories up as well with our displays. Here he is. That's basically the minifig representation of me. That's what a Sigfig is. It's a Lego figure that represents you. So it represents me. Which I think I spoke about in the previous video to this one. But yeah, he hasn't got his own vehicle, so I'm going to make one. And I like the design of that truck, but I don't want to break it up, because uh, it's a set and two. I don't like it in that colour code. I'd rather build something that would be a colour I'd choose if i you know, sprayed my own vehicle, which would be black. I ain't kidding. I like black, so try and build it out of black, but I don't think I've got any black um, wheel arches, so I think I'll have them in white, so well, at least I'll go together. Got the wheels, that's not a problem. Got everything else, that's not a problem. It's just those arches that might be the problem. I could turn it into a police one, actually. I don't know, don't know where the camera was pointing. I was up there at the scene or something. <laughs> yeah, um... What's the time? Oh, I don't know if I'll do that tonight. I haven't even messed around on the PC yet. <laughs> I've been home about an hour, but I've been trying to do this bloody video. Seriously, it's not as easy as just picking the camera up and turning it on, because if you don't like what you've done, you've got to turn it off. I've got to delete the footage, because I haven't got a very large memory card on this, and then I've got to start again. <laughs> and uh, to 
save on sticking it through an editor. I'd like to do it in one shot, if I can. Just because I'm a lazy bastard and don't like um, pissing around with editors. Editors, rather. There. <laughs> uh. Oh yeah, I've got two cars still to pack up and those floppy disk drives. And a motherboard. I think I'll do that tomorrow as well. Once I've done the Apollo, I'll um, take photos of these motherboards and see if I can get rid of those. You know, someone might want one to repair an XP machine, you don't know. Because I know there's still fans of them out there. Although, you know, it's not really hard to get or to collect up spare parts yourself. Especially if you know what you're doing. It's always handy. Well, that reminds me, someone did ask me if I had a video card. Oh, I just remembered, no, I haven't, so. <laughs> Not for what they want, anyway. Mine are all old AGP slots. I think he, if I remember rightly, he requires a newer one for a PCIe slot. Which I don't have spare. Actually, I've got one, but I don't think it works. And I've got one that isn't tested, so. Yeah. <laughs> Unfortunately, I haven't got one. Well, I could easily sell it to him. He'd buy it off me, but I don't have one. I can't sell him what I haven't got. But these that I want to try and get working. When I remember... I'll jump in my grave that quick. <laughs> I was only sitting on that five minutes ago. Uh, right. Um... remember what I wanted to talk about now. Uh, well, shouldn't we go to Mum's Sunday? I suppose I could have gone tomorrow, but as I want to get that Apollo done and um, some photos taken to put stuff up on eBay, I thought I'd have a day at home, go over Sunday, because that's when we'll have a Sunday roast, and that saves going over three days in a row. Um, thanks to um, things going tits up, especially with mum, so I've helped mum out. I've actually missed the service charge this time round, so I'm going to have to, if I can't get any money together between now and Thursday, I'll just have to double it up Thursday and pay double. Because, uh, I know this flat isn't a lot and it's full of junk and it needs to be redecorated, but it's still my home. I don't particularly want to uh, lose it. <coughs> but uh, yeah, things didn't go according to plan. Now I helped Mum out. We were all under the impression that it would be fine this week. And then, no. Things went to shit. <laughs> And we're going to go into details why, because it's personal to all of us, so, but yeah, things didn't go to plan, that's all. <laughs> but never mind, you know, it's not Mum's fault, it's not Stepdad's fault, it's not my fault, it's just shit happens, so. It's not too much of a big deal. Um, so if I have to double up next Thursday, I will. It's not an issue. Dad's message. I wonder how long ago it was that he messaged me, because I haven't been at the computer for about now. <laughs> oh, that's because I forgot to reply to a message he sent earlier. <laughs> Whoops. Come on, I'll reply when I'm ready. Yeah. Ooh, the screen feels hot on this camera. Right. Um... Yes, we'll take photos of those. Got to put this up, I keep forgetting. Um, it hasn't got a name on it, but it's got numbers. It's got 10-60, which I think could be the date code, which would actually make that 1960. Or oh, could be wrong. I'm not sure because I didn't take this out of a bike that old. 
Well, it's got F101 on it. Made in England, and that's it. But, um, I think someone might buy that one. Someone on eBay that looks for these, you know, may know what the numbers mean and uh, may want to. Pedals? Do I put these pedals on? Uh, can't remember. Uh, that's already on eBay. I've got the actual um, innards to this as well, so I may put them on separate. Couple of wheel hubs, one keep being watched, but no one buys it, which is annoying. But I'm guessing they watch it, you know, hoping they have the money before it ends, and maybe they don't. I don't know. Reasons best known to the person watching it. Oh, I'm going to put um, another two floppy disk drives on. Um, yeah. I might take fresh photos, I don't know yet. I'll decide that tomorrow when I start taking photos. <laughs> um, yeah, I've got a few road maps to go on. Could get ruthless with a few computers. Still got this server to take apart for parts. Or I might try it on there as it is. 99p star. Someone may want it to be the fix or just have as a novelty thing, you know. We'll still get it to light up if we put the power bricks in. And yes, I call them power bricks because they are near enough friggin' bricks. Poxy things. But yeah, it was a nice novelty when I first got it, but it's rather on the large and heavy side, so. Yeah. If I could keep it, I would. If I had the room, I would, but... I'm sort of trying... to narrow things down... and actually just concentrate on my favourite hobbies. Which, at the moment, is sort of like computers and Lego. My camera keeps drifting. Every time I take my eyes off the camera, my hand just sort of goes... <laughs> Oh, I've got some bike parts on here as well. I'll clean those dryers up. So I doubt I'll ever use them. Give this a bit of a clean up and put that on there. It's not in too bad a shape as it is. It's just a cable guide off a um, vintage road bike. And believe it or not, these, even in you know half decent condition like this one, could do with a fresh new bolt put in it, but. Yeah, that'll still sell. I'll still get a couple of quid for that. It's better than having it sitting here doing absolutely nothing, because I'm not going to use it. I haven't got a use for it, I don't think. Um, I don't think I'll need it on the bike I'm building. Although I suppose I'd better, better check that road bike frame. Frame? Road bike frame. I better just reply to Dad, otherwise you'll think I'm ignoring him. <laughs> Not yet. Got home. Visit man. Day. It's also. I'll try again. There's also a chance, you know, I may have got a report from someone on Facebook. Because um, I was posting a lot of photos of bikes and things on my Facebook. So it could have been someone in my friends list. It could have been someone from another group that had seen me, you know, looked at my profile. Didn't, don't like me or whatever and decided to report me. Who knows? Who knows? Oh, and I've had another friend uh, message me, he's got some problems with his bike, so I'll probably end up sorting that out at some point tomorrow as well, I don't know. Must have a chat to him when he comes over. He did ask if I was about today, but I didn't see the message. 
I just hopped on Facebook briefly when I was sort, trying to sort the printer out at Mum's. Uh, and saw the private message from him. But, uh, yeah, my <clears throat> He's just replied back saying I thought so. Probably because I took a while to reply. But, uh, yeah, never mind. Uh, don't know if I ever showed you these, did I? I think I did. These, um, gaming dice. Got two pots of these with the, um, blah, 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 Amstrad. They're all in the box, but I was thinking of putting them on eBay, but looking at them and looking at the prices for a new set and the fact that there isn't really anyone selling a used set like this and um, that's just gone straight underneath the friggin table <sighs> and it's not worth selling because I was going to put them on eBay but so I've got like three different pots up there on them and uh, nah, I'll keep them when my French friend next come over, perhaps he can um, teach me how to use them. Because I've always wondered how you use them like that and play that sort of type of role-playing game, but he plays it every Sunday, so maybe he can teach me. Now that I've actually got my own die, or dice, or however you want to pronounce it. I could butcher the English language and just say dices. I've got my own set of dices. <laughs> yeah, I think the plural is actually die, isn't it? D I E. I've got a set of die. I think. I suppose you could just say dice. I've got a set of dice. I don't know. Who cares? You all, you know what I'm talking about. Oh, some videos from RJ the bike guy. Go 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 go. Repairing script crank arm pedal threads. Yeah, that's one reason I want to invest in a tap and die set. I did have one many years ago, but I left that dad's and didn't see it since. <laughs> so, it's like one of them things, can I borrow it again? You never see it again. But um, I let family get away with it, I think, too much. Replacing a bent bike fork. Yeah, that's easy enough to do. How to remove crank arm with strip threads. Ooh, I see. I use a hammer. <laughs> but I don't I really don't recommend doing it with a hammer. I really, really don't. I'm actually gonna watch that video in there and say that, but I'm gonna say I don't recommend it. Because you can seriously damage your crank if you use a hammer. It's fine if the crank has had it and you're going to change it for a new one anyway, then just bash the old one off with a hammer. But uh, if you're going to put the crank back on, don't use a hammer. <laughs> I the you know, last time I used that was because I didn't have a tool. Uh, that's why I went and got a new one actually, because I needed it. <laughs> I was getting pissed off at trying to do it with a hammer without damaging the crank. Not easy. You know, if you miss, you can seriously dent your and bend your um, cogs on the crank. You don't want to do that. Because um, if you're inside, your two inside cogs get bent, they can be quite a bitch to straighten out. Not so bad with the largest outside cog. Because I usually just get a pair of pliers on them or something and just... Uh, Try and straighten it out as best I can and make sure the teeth are running as straight as possible. Yeah. I don't think there's much more left to talk about. I've got plenty to do tomorrow. Um, oh, with the electrics on my town there, because as you know I've got lights in most of the buildings, I think there's two of my own buildings that don't have a light in of some sort, and that's the um, 
big white apartment building on the end there. Um, oh, and there's a little shop I put next to it. And the um, 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 Coast Guard building. But everything else is lit up. So what I want to do, so I can tidy up the wiring as well. Well, that reminds me, I'll look on eBay for the switches. Let's make a little switch box. I don't know, it could lay on the floor or just mount on the wall or something. Um, so I could switch all the buildings on and off individually. So I'll have one for each building and one for the outside light and for the street lights and outside lights on buildings. Because um, the um, little snatch shack over there, right over there, that one has got an outside light above the door there. Um, I would like at least one street light sitting in here, but I haven't got the parts to do that at the moment. Uh, yeah, that's what I would like to do. So, uh, you know, if I wanted to, I could just turn all the lights off and just have the outside lighting on. Which would probably be at least four lights, because, like I said, I want to get another street light to put there, because I think three would look more even than just one there and one there. I could even put one there, actually, around the corner here. Um... So I could actually switch that light individually as well. And have a light on the inside. Which means I would need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So far about eight switches. If I decided to put a light in there, which I might not do. But I would say about eight switches. Because I don't want to light up all the buildings, you know. I'm not going to bother with the grocery store. I'm not bothering with the flats for the time being. But if I made the wooden box that I'm going to house it all in, big enough to expand with a few more switches, it'll all be properly soldered, properly built. There's plenty of plywood at, in the um, workshop at Mum's, in my stepdad's workshop, so cutting it up and perhaps gluing it together or even using little nails to nail it together, it won't be a problem. Um, but I would like some sort of socket or something on the side so I could, um, um, you know, just plug each building into the switch box. So, because at some point in the future this would get, you know, dismantled and built into something else. So if I had wires that was plug, you know, unplugged and plugged into the switch box, and um, same with the power supply connector. It would make life a lot easier. But uh, it would probably work out cheaper as well for me to build a custom-built system than to um, try and find something on eBay that I can buy that's already built. And I've got the knowledge. I don't know how to use a soldering iron, so that would be something interesting to build. Anyway, I'm going to disappear. So, uh, thanks a lot for watching. And uh, as always, if you like the video, hit the like button. And uh, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already for more daily videos. And uh, I'll talk to you again soon. Bye.